A vacation to Europe is not complete without seeing Sweden. Much as we cannot picture life without the Vikings, Swedish meatballs, or H&M. The midnight sun, the northern lights, reindeer, and cute huskies who will take you for a ride on the snow are all things you may experience in this country, which is also blessed with interesting towns and a rich legacy. Great cities like Malmo, Uppsala, and Gothenburg are a must if you want to see all this in Sweden. So, if you're planning a trip to Sweden, you might be curious about what you can see and do in these three exotic cities. If that's the case, stick till the end of the video so we may go sightseeing in these locations together. First, we're going to talk about the top attractions in Malmo. Number 1. Orsund Bridge The beautiful Orsund Bridge can be reached in about 15 minutes by car from Malmo's downtown. This beautiful bridge, which took decades to construct and has been recognized all over the world since it opened in 1999, has become even more infamous as the subject of the critically acclaimed Danish-Swedish TV serial, The Bridge. Fans of the show will immediately recognize the stunning bridge that connects Sweden and Denmark, and by extension, all of Europe. The bridge serves as a passageway for cars, trains, and pedestrians alike. 8 kilometers separate you from the artificial island of Peberholm. It then joins a 4-kilometer tunnel created to prevent disturbing arriving jets at Copenhagen Airport. Copenhagen has no wasted days or hours. Number 2. Turning Torso The most talked about building in southern Sweden is located roughly 2.7 kilometers from Malmo Central Station and is easily accessible by bus or automobile. The stunning rotating torso is the tallest structure in Scandinavia at 190 meters in height and includes residential, office, and meeting space. Santiago Calatrava is a designer, artist, and architect. His twisting torso sculpture was featured in the brochure advertising the competition to build the Orsund Bridge. It took workers four years to finish the state-of-the-art structure. When it opened in 2005, it was hooked up to renewable energy sources that were generated in the area. This magnificent landmark has made Malmo an architectural powerhouse. Number 3. Lila Torg The Little Square, or Lila Torg, in the heart of Malmo is always bustling with activity. The establishment of a medieval market gives it a history stretching back to the 1500s. Nowadays, it is Malmo's premier location for a casual caffeine fix and people watching. Cafes with patios overlooking the main square compete fiercely. Each serves sushi and Swedish food. So, if you're looking for some peace and quiet after all the excitement, the restaurant at the elite Hotel Esplanade is the place to go. Picturesque merchant or burger mansions from the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries also contribute to Lila Torg's notoriety. With that being said, let's talk about the best places to visit in Uppsala. Number 1. Uppsala University Uppsala University is widely recognized as one of the most prestigious educational institutions in the entirety of Northern Europe. It was established in 1477, making it the oldest university in all of Scandinavia. The vast library that is located in the Carolina Redivia building has a collection of more than 5 million individual books. Since the 1820s, it has held the title of the largest and oldest university library in all of Sweden. The soaring ceilings and ornate columns contribute to the building's status as an architectural triumph. The Greek to Gothic translations of the four Gospels that can be found in the Codex Argentius, sometimes referred to as the Silver Book, goes back to the 6th century CE and is part of the huge collection of noteworthy manuscripts that can be found in the library. Number 2. See Uppsala Cathedral The magnificent Uppsala Cathedral, which was designed and constructed in the traditional French Gothic style, can be seen for miles around and dominates the skyline of the city. In addition to being the final resting place of the Swedish royal family, this building also holds the distinction of being the largest church in the entirety of Scandinavia. Despite the extensions that were added in the decades that followed, the building's original structure was constructed in the year 1270. 
you can acquire additional knowledge regarding the history of the church by visiting its museum. Both the Fratelli Ruffati organ from 2009 in the north and the 1871 Per Larsen Kerman organ in the west are magnificent examples of their respective organ families. Random. Number three, discover Gustav Vienum. The Gustav Vienum is a magnificent collection of coins, scientific equipment, artwork, and archeological relics. It was named after Gustav II Adolf, the King of Sweden, who in the 17th century elevated his nation to the status of a world power. Visitors of any age who have an interest in ancient Egypt or Scandinavia will be captivated by the museum's permanent exhibitions, which include a sarcophagus and Viking swords respectively. The original and oldest building in the Uppsala University campus is where Gustavianum can be found. Above, you'll find the anatomical theater, which goes back to the year 1660 and was a place where dissections were routinely carried out in front of the public. Number four, see historic Uppsala Castle. Uppsala Castle, or Uppsala Slot, is the official house of the county governor and is located on a bluff above the city. This is the site of several pivotal moments in the history of Sweden. The Stur killings occurred in 1567, when a crazed and paranoid King Eric XIV ordered the assassination of several noblemen. Queen Christina, Greta Garbo in the Hollywood film, unexpectedly abdicated in 1654 in the rickshaw. Place in your hands my abdication from the throne of Sweden. Visitors can admire Uppsala and the surrounding landscape from its battlements. While inside Uppsala's Kant's museums, magnificent art exhibitions and art museum. The botanical gardens opposite the castle offer a delightful stroll. Lastly, we're going to discuss the best attraction in Gothenburg. Number one, go to the exciting rides at Weisberg Amusement Park. The Weisberg Amusement Park in Gothenburg has been a staple of the city's culture since its debut in 1923. This amusement park, the largest of its kind in Scandinavia, is a popular destination for both locals and visitors because of its thrilling rides and roller coasters, regular concerts, and spectacular Christmas market. Over 40 rides and attractions, including Atmosphere, Europe's biggest freefall ride, and Balder, a wooden roller coaster that won an award, can help you pass the time. Beautiful panoramas of the city can be seen from atop the Weisberg wheel, while thrill seekers also love the Helix coaster. Hundreds of thousands of flowers blossom over the summer months, and there is also wonderful cuisine, music, and sports. As October rolls around, the park becomes a scary themed adventure land, drawing in even more guests. Number two, take a stroll around Slotskogen Park. The 338-acre Slotskogen Park and Mini Zoo in the middle of Gothenburg are one of the top free things to do for visitors and locals alike. It's a great area for the whole family and it goes by the name Castle Park. Animals like elk, seals, penguins, moose, and deer can all be seen at the zoo. And from April through September, the petting zoo is open so that children may ride ponies and pet farm animals. It's also a popular destination for those looking to unwind in natural surroundings and take in some fresh air among the maple, beech, and oak trees that populate the area's numerous parks and forests. Other well-liked pastimes include roller skating, cycling, jogging, and playing miniature golf. Within the park itself are cafes and thoughtfully built children's playgrounds. Concerts and events, such as the hugely successful Way Out and West Music Festival, are also held throughout the year. At the park's boundary lies the Gothenburg Museum of Natural History, which draws visitors with its lifelike dioramas of animals from all over the world. Number three, have an outdoor adventure in Gothenburg's Southern Archipelago. Charming villages, breathtaking scenery, and pristine beaches may all be found within easy driving distance of the city. Skargerden, in the southern part of the Gothenburg Archipelago, is a popular tourist destination for a variety of reasons. 
including seal safaris, sailing, lobster fishing, sea angling, and boat tours. The nicest thing is that there are reliable ferry services to almost anywhere. Bikers and hikers love the Southern Islands. Accessible from the Saltholmen Ferry Terminal because they have no cars, four picturesque settlements and 1,400 inhabitants make Sturso Island a great spot to visit. The oldest community, Bin Village, was created in 1752. There are also several spots to fish and swim, as well as a post office, cafes, stores, a hostel, and a restaurant. Traveling to Sweden for an extended period of time is one of the most enjoyable holidays one can take. I know you're anxious to start exploring these Swedish metropolises right away. So plan a trip to Europe, whether it's just you or with your family. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, I'm sure you'll like our other video about the best places to visit in Europe in 2023. Click here to watch this video and I will see you there.